Well, that is the $64,000 question as to is autism actually increasing? We certainly are diagnosing it more often. Um, and although some people think maybe the increase is in part due to better diagnosis and earlier diagnosis, there are other people that believe no, there is truly an increase in autism spectrum disorders. And it looks as though it's tied to two factors. One is definitely genetic. Auditory, um, sorry, autism spectrum disorders are associated with about a hundred genes. So it's what we call a complex genetic disorder. It's not simple. It's not where one gene causes autism, but rather there are combinations of genes when they occur together that seem to predispose a child to autism spectrum disorders. But in addition to that, it looks like there are factors within our environment that are triggering these genes, causing these genes to become more actively expressed. And no one is sure what those environmental factors are. Um, some of them may be chemicals in the environment, some of them may be noise in the environment, and some of them actually ha may have to do with changes in parenting. So, um, and not that there's, not that the parenting issues are negative or that parents aren't good parents. I think parents are working harder and harder than ever to be good parents. But it may be that the access that children have now to television very early in development um, or the access that children have to toys that do things as opposed to toys where the child is building or constructing, that these factors may be all converging to um, increase the the way that the genes are expressed and kind of contribute to this increase in what we see as autism spectrum disorders.